molasses ginger. It's huge. You get a lot of the. Oof. Yeah. It tastes like some. I'm kind of like I got a whole bunch of spices like stuck. It's like in a my gingerbread mouth. house beer in your mouth. Is it overkill? Do you think we overkilled it? Yeah, I think it's a little overkilled. Mm. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Are you a brewhead? I'm a brewhead. Y'all a brewheads? Yeah, we brewheads. So pour a glass of craft beer. We can do this. Yeah. What's good, y'all? This is C Certified Brewhead. I am Scott Beer, Cole Beer Enthusiast. And welcome to another edition of Versus and Scotty. It's been uh, a minute since you've been on Versus because I've been hogging this shit. Thanks for having me back. I'm excited. <laughs> Thanks for having you on your show. Fair enough. We, you know, you're welcome, I guess. Thank you for letting me be on our show. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. To allow it. I think, if anything, I deserve to be on this episode because it's a brew that we... That we made on and we made together. So yeah. you would have probably seen, hopefully seen our homebrew video. Look at yes, that! Look at that! It looks like a massive espresso. It does, yas. Get that bad boy in. Oh yeah, drop it, drop it. Oh, that's sex. Uh, we dropped that. I don't know when this is gonna drop. So look on the YouTube channel and Facebook. It's all there. So this is the tasting video, and the reason this is a versus, Scotty. Well, if you Tell watch them. if you watched the <clears throat> brewing video, you would have known that we split our batch of dark winter ale into two, and kind of treated each a little bit differently. One we added a spice bag in the secondary with fresh ginger, cloves, nutmeg, raw. Gi- no, sorry, I said ginger. Uh, uh, cinnamon, mm. a bunch of spices in, yep. a, in a spice bag that we kind of almost steeped. Uh, it was kind of like a tea, like in yeah. a cheesecloth bag, Yeah, right? in a cheesecloth bag, let mm-hmm. it absorb some of those flavors. Uh, in the other half, we added a unpasteurized, unfiltered um, apple cider yes. type deal. Yep. I think I added about a gallon and a half, two gallons of that. Cool. Um, so we split the, the batch in half. We wanted to see how uh, we could affect each beer differently and decide which one we liked more. So yeah. we're going to do that just now. We haven't tried these beers so we're gonna give them a go, and we did try this beer. Last yeah, I was, night. I was gonna. We did try cool. both of them. No, we so, tried. Scott came. We're in here in Montreal right now. We had the big day today. Um, late last night, we we're like, you know what? Let's just crack one of them open. Yeah. So we cracked open the spice one, and we had a little had bit. A little taste so this of one it, has yeah. been. So we know what this tastes like, but we do not know what the apple tastes like. We haven't tried like. that one. Yeah. So it's kind of quasi blind. So maybe we'll start again with the spice. Yeah. Because we did. This is kind of like a half empty bottle, but oh, Ooh, look smokes. at that. <clears throat> Okay. <laughs> Woof. So tell, tell them, uh, remind everybody again what kind of beer it is. Yeah, so it, uh, we made, it was supposed to be a, a dark spiced winter ale. We kind of um, loosely based it around uh, a recipe we found online. Yes. Um, we decided to add a little more of the dark malt. So instead of kind of a dark winter ale, it's essentially just a black uh, spiced winter ale. Um, there are a bunch of spices that we added into the boil. And then, like we said, we added some spices in the secondary as well. We really just wanted to amp up the spiciness and spicy flavor and see how far we could kind of take it. And from our taste, okay, well, that's carbonated. That's that's a good sign. We're a little worried about that. It yeah. It smells a lot less spicy than uh, Yeah, well, than yeah, one. there's a lot less spice in it. But, um, yeah, we wanted to see kind of where we could take it. There's some molasses in there, too, we put in the boil. Um, Look at that in comparison. Well, that's right. So Damn, a lot you were less right. Had. The other thing that I, I, I probably didn't mention in the uh, brewing video is I went on vacation for a little over a month. And yeah, you did. I was supposed to bottle before we left because it was just hitting that <clears throat> period where it was time to bottle after two weeks. Yeah. And I wasn't able to get it done. So this actually stayed in the fermenter for an extra almost five weeks after it was supposed to. So I was a little worried. Um, Is it a bad thing? I don't know. I'm, I, I've am i never done it before. I was a little concerned. Um, I know some people say some things like if, if the beer sits on the, the yeast cake for too long, it kind of gets some off flavors. Okay. Um, I didn't notice that from our sampling it last night off at all, no? um it seemed pretty cool to me i think as long as everything's all uh sanitary yeah. and clean i think you're kind of okay uh so yeah let's do you want to give it a try i'm and ready see what's going on so do you know what this the, is the one this has no head there's nothing so, yeah this is what i was worried about um, why why do you think it because it was... the other thing that i also <clears> failed <throat> to mention is the one with uh the spice bag 
uh, was kept under constant uh, temperature control. I have uh, a temper a Johnson temperature controller I put on my kegerator, so that stayed in the fridge and and stayed within uh, a couple degrees of what we wanted it to around seventy degrees uh, Fahrenheit. Yeah. So the temperature controller kept it within a degree <clears throat> or two of that, whereas the other batch uh, sat in my kind of laundry area, so it just was. Uh, susceptible to the that's right wherever the the apartment was at was where it was fermenting so that could have had something to do with it i don't know let's give it a try let's see let's try with the first the spice first first? yeah so like like helicarbonated last night when we cracked it it was like the head was huge even just like shaking it up a little right so this is a bottle we'd opened yesterday so it's still and it's still like enough head and ting yeah um cheers cheers Man, the spice is so huge on this. It's big. Molasses, ginger. It's huge. You get a lot of the... Oof. Yeah. It tastes like some... I'm kind of like... I got a whole bunch of spices like stuffed in my mouth. It's like a gingerbread house beer in your mouth. Is it overkill? Do you think we overkilled it? Yeah, I think it's a little overkill. There's a lot of um, adjuncts in here, right? Yeah. I think it's a little too much. It takes a little bit away from the the, the malt and the, the hops in the beer. Um, I enjoy it. Yeah, I just think like it's, it's a cool. little overkill. I couldn't drink much the... of this though. No, it's tasty. Like when we first opened, I'm like, "Oh my god, we made a good beer!" As yeah. soon as I sipped it, but now I'm thinking it's just a little too much on the yeah, adjunct. Love the top, but <clears throat> we didn't know. We've added spice before, and it hasn't been enough. So I think we just went a little too far the other way. Do you know what? If we had the same amount of spice in a full batch, not a half batch, yeah, I guess we'd probably do the same amount of spice for a full batch. Because that's, that was the problem. I think that's exactly right. So we right. double spiced yeah. it unnecessarily. It just seems like it's, uh, excuse me, a little overkill. Like the the combination is fantastic. Like Everything the body else is, is great. The beer looks beautiful. Like the 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 actual like look of it is like you know, the color is fantastic, and the Even taste the is nose good. Is great. It's just yeah, the nose is beautiful, but the taste is just a bit overkill. That's my only. Uh, yeah, it's just like a complaint about it. Yeah. Um, All right, so this apple. Yeah. Well, it did pour a little bit ahead, but I'm seeing not a lot. shaking it up. Like, yeah. Oh, like it kind of gets a little bit going on there. Yeah, you really got to agitate it, though, to get any sort of... Anyways, cheers. So this... Cheers. Yeah. Let's we'll see what the half, difference yeah. is. All right. Okay. I don't think, and this is what I thought when we put it in to the carboys. Well, the apple cider doesn't lend itself well to uh, a spiced ale for some reason. I thought it would be like kind of like a mulled apple cider beer, but it kind of just disappears in the background. Like so. it doesn't. It's it not doesn't, strong enough to come through. Yeah, this dark it doesn't mold stand thing. out. That's right. <clears throat> Man, brewing beer is tough. Brewing beer is tough. Um, yeah. And for some reason, it's just not as carbonated as, like, you got to really, if you swirl it, you're, you're getting a little bit. But this one poured with a ton of head, and oh, yeah. there's the retention, the lacing on the glass and everything. So I don't know if that has to do with keeping it in the the carboy for, for so much longer than it was supposed to. If anyone has any but, comments yeah. about that, like, let us know, because I've never done this before. Is that cool? Is that good for the beer? Is it bad for the beer? I don't know. It was, yeah, definitely would have been, like, on point with, like the two week period and bottling. Yeah, usually to the day, two weeks in the carbo in the the primary fermenter, and then we've done the secondary before, but usually just two weeks and then two weeks bottle conditioning. Yeah. But this went five six weeks in yeah. the primary and then bottling. So. So it was a little intense. Do you, Do you have like you know in in the spirit of verses? Do you Ooh. have like a favorite? Like I'm not gonna lie. I don't, Maybe because we 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 did a podcast today and we drank a bunch afterwards, so I'm not even really feeling like drinking a ton. Yeah, I'm not enjoying either of them a ton, a lot. Like they're cool, but I'm not like loving. Well, we just it. drank some world class beers at uh, Maybe, yeah. GDCL, so yeah. it's kind of hard. That's really. I'm trying not to think because it's been a little bit. We've had some food and stuff. We're trying to like forget about that and uh, you know. I I like the spice one to be honest. Um, I love everything about it, but the spice. Yeah, I like I it just if we could tone it down a bit. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Like it's all there. The nose is so good. The nose is delicious. You smell it. It smells like like it's like fresh gingerbread cookies. Yeah. That's amazing. And the body's there and the colors there. The taste is just a little overkill. It's a little sweet and a little overspiced. Yeah. But it's apart like from that, I I quite enjoy it. This I don't know what this one's really doing. Like Do you know what? 
I got an idea, real quick. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of this into this. Oh, yeah, you know me too well. Of course. Let me take one last sip of this by itself. That, I I kind of like that. This is weird, but no, it's not weird at all. People, well, we had it. some mixed beers today, actually. Yeah. At DDC, you're going all in. Yeah, okay, it's going. Cool. Look at that head now. If this is good, oh my god. If this is good. Then we're just gonna blend the bottles and then drink it. Like, and you know what? To be really fair to us, we've done however many home brews. I don't know, like give or take twenty. And there's been none that I really didn't like at all. And like you the, really don't like this one? This is the <laughs> the least I've liked. Them. Really. But it was the most experimental we've been. We put a lot of stuff into this one, yeah. Yeah, so say if we if we just did it by itself. Just like, like a winter ale, like a winter nothing ale, special. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. But these type of beers don't get me like fucking, you know, revved up. When it comes down anything. to it, I just like classic styles made well. I yeah. mean, you can put all this fancy stuff in it, but let's give this a try. The combination the of combo. the two. Yeah, this guy's. brew. Oh, now that's good. Because it tones it down. Because it tones it down. Got a little bit of the sweetness from the... Okay, now this is a beer I can stand behind. We shouldn't have split the batch. Yeah, we should we have just split made it. it. But you know what? Now we know. Yeah. And all we got to do whenever we drink it, we're just going to split and go pour and pour. This okay. is great. It tones down the spice of the original one. It maintains... Sorry, it tones down the spice of the spiced one whilst maintaining the carbonation levels of that one. And the apple... Is sort of real subtle in the background. But there, where it wasn't in the spiced one. Where it and, wasn't. Yeah. The spice is overkill, and the apple was underwhelming, and now it's like just nicely balanced. If, if we brewed the beer and it came out just like this, I would be like, yo, this is a solid beer. Like, once again, this is not my, like, like, like I didn't get, like, excited about this style. Yeah. But this is a great, well-made, easy-drinking uh, winter, winter beer. I feel you. So, so in conclusion. In conclusion. Mix them. Mix them. Blend them bad boys. <laughs> Mix them. Because, you know, but I guess if we had to have a choice, it would put things like we'd both be going for the spice over the apple yeah. just for the fact that the spice kind of came out a little better. You live and you learn, you know. This That's was an experimental like, brew. I mean, I don't hate them. It was kind of a style that no, it isn't even good. my favorite from the beginning. No, but we... It was cool. I feel like we learned from this one. Next one's going to be better. Exactly. And that's it. And this is not bad. At no. all. It's far and from bad. And it's the bad. best when you pour one into the other, which is weird. I've never... Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not a blender. Uh, no. No? no. You're not a blender? I'm not into that. I've I think never, it's kind of like... I don't weird. think I've ever poured one beer into another beer and had them as like a... As a thing? I feel like beer. I've read somewhere it's like becoming like a thing. Oh, now. God. There was this thing I, I saw like on, on, uh, on the interwebs and, they, and dudes were going, like getting like a picture and going to... Um, a craft beer bar and like give me a little bit of everything so oh I did had, see that you might have even sent it to me and they were like pouring a bit of everything into it and I think sometimes it was good sometimes so it was hectic. like filthy but like I see I can't remember where it was I was with somebody recently and they uh, and, they, and they did the blend and yeah, I was like he asked to give me a diarrhea pint like it's it yeah look it's little... gonna be like sour and sweet and, and dark, dark and, and light and, light and, and kind hoppy of like and, and tan on crack. Ugh. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But yeah. I feel like if you've got two uh, complementary styles, yeah. I mean, like whatever. I'm a bit more of a traditionalist too. I'm not really trying to like you know get my blend game on, but yeah. I'm not like furious at it. Especially this, this fixed it. Yeah. So, so I guess if if you had to go versus spiced wins, I'll take the spiced. I, it's best together. But if I have to choose one, yeah, I'll take the spiced. So blend them. Blending is. So blending is the future, children. Blend them. Get your blend on. That's it from us. Uh, if you like the video, chuck us a thumbs up. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, follow us on social media at BAOS Podcast. And uh, check out the podcast because that's the really the long form stuff with the good info. And it's uh, all the info is down below in the comments or the description, whatever the hell it is. Uh, you have a fantastic night, peoples. Cheers. Peace.